guys, so you probably got to this video by clicking on the link in the pinned comment on the how to Roblox button open and close tutorial and a lot of you have been saying that it does not work well it does work and I know some of the most biggest issues out there and I finally am able to make this video um, someone in discord explained an issue about it opening up and then yeah so it opened up and you could only use it once and afterwards it would disappear I think and yeah so um, I managed to figure that out easily and we, now the person figured it out and perfect so and I'm just gonna redo basically the tutorial in this skip to later points in the video I will I might include a timestamp on the um, pinned comment of this video. This is an unlisted video. It's it's public but not really. So like basically fans will I don't think they will get a notification for it. Maybe because it's unlisted. I don't know. But this is a reset stats button and this is in another video. Um on the end screen of this you will be able to see the uh Roblox Studio playlist. So if you want people to reset your stats in your game then um watch that video but let's get started so we have our screen GUI here for the reset stats I'm just gonna add a new screen GUI so how to add and I don't think for some reason my recorder does not include the plus so what you're gonna do on the starter GUI is there should be a plus button when you hover over it but otherwise right click on the starter GUI and it says insert object um, in that right click insert a screen GUI and then do the same thing for that new screen GUI and this time add a text button and or an image button it does work with an image button guys so I've seen some people say that it doesn't it does and I've tried it so here is our button you can download plugins um, to roundify it so it looks better with better UI and stuff so now we're just gonna name the button whatever test and then we scale it and um i base that video was made in 2019 i think or something i don't know when and yes i do have an auto clicker guys on which my keybind keybind is zero for some reason so yeah so that's why that started glitching cuz i pressed zero but here is our button so we can of course change the color but not right now let's make this quick so in this so do the button first guys or it doesn't matter but add a frame by adding the frame as so and make the frame what you like and there we go there's your frame now name the frame to whatever you'd like I suggest naming the frame you to call it frame one, frame two, or just whatever you want. Because if you have multiple frames and you open the button, it will open like only a couple of them, I think. Or if all your frames are in the same screen GUI, it will do that. So what you got to do here is change it to what you want. So I'm going to name it test frame, as I think I did in the video. So this is 2020, guys, and it does work forever if you're watching this forever. So uh, I can't say that for sure, but it does. And then that other video was made in like 2018 or 2019 that was when I was young and I was just starting scripting and now I know a lot more so this will explain more so test frame text button now look at the text button right here this right here in the Explorer you need to keep it in the screen GUI do not put it inside the test frame do not do this because then when you click on it it will close it will open and then close the everything even the button so make sure it's out in your screen GUI and not in the frame this was one of the reasons that person in discord didn't was having a problem also something was wrong with their script but now let's get to the close button so you have to add this time for the close you have to add a text button inside the test frame not in the screen GUI this time it's in the test frame so the close is in the test now for the text button let me just name it uh... open here um... let's see okay open 
and then close for this one so we can kind of demonstrate what it's supposed to be like so the close is inside the frame this is not inside the frame it's inside the screen to us so as you can see the close disappears once you click on this arrow because it's in there now let's get with the open scripts so we're gonna add a local script now another reason is because you guys were adding scripts it's a local script so there should be an option I don't know if you can see that me adding it but it's the local script so search the local in the thing and not a script just a local script I don't you, there's videos looking up the difference but I'm not gonna explain it now if you wanna zoom in your scripts just hold down the control button on your keyboard and then just zoom in using the zoom and make sure it's aimed towards the script and let's get started with the scripting so local frame equals script dot parent dot parent dot now before I get started with the next um, thing local frame so the frame is not like built into the Roblox so we have to make a variable for it so once we do local frame so it's getting something equals is what the frame is gonna say later on the script so the frame is equal in script dot parent dot parent and um, sent, this is why it's important to have this outside because then it's inside the screen to I so script dot parent dot parent and look look at the name of your frame so the name of my frame guys is test frame now your frame might be different your name your frame name can be um, um, polar frame or open frame or just frame frame one frame two so whatever the name of the frame you want to open is is going to go after this and this is where a lot of issues come in now the friend in discord that um, had a problem he put the button name do not put the button name because then you're just opening the button so just make sure here that you do not put open as this which is my button name so do not put the button name and so it's test frame which is mine so just put what yours is this is probably one of the most common errors of the whole thing I say the two most common errors is putting the open button inside the frame or just messing up the script and then we are going to do local open equals false so it's the same thing making a variable so this equals false and when we use open later in the script which I believe we do probably I don't know so local open equals false and then script dot parent dot mouse button one click which is the one click button colon connect function and then we have to do this so make sure that there are two parentheses after the function that look exactly like that and then press enter that's basically functioning the button so if frame this is getting typing if frame is getting this so basically you can type if if script dot parent dot parent dot test frame you can type that guys you can if you'd like but we made a variable for that so that's ba it's like bitly you shorten it so it's like you have a long link you can shorten it so that's basically what this is so if frame dot visible this is already built in to Roblox so you do not even need to make a variable for it and then you're gonna do two equals two equals not one false then so like that and then then is saying um, what happens when you click once you enter so then frame which again is up the top variable dot visible equals false I mean not false why would we do that true now you can end the script like this if you'd like but if you want to like double click if you click on it it opens it and then as you click on the button again it will close it so this is like a close button version too if you want to do that you can stop it here if you just want to click it and then press the X but why not do this so you're gonna enter and then you can backspace it back like this to be more organized and then enter frame dot visible equals false this is basically saying you click it twice it will the frame will go to false so yeah that's the script for the open now make sure you have typed this exactly because I'll zoom in in full so you guys can just copy it so this is it right here and make sure you don't see this could be an error too you after connect here you put a you could you put a space and that that would screw it up too and or here you put a space that would screw it up or here you put a space between the equals that would obviously screw it up so there we go 
Now, a lot of you are saying the close button script is a problem too. But really guys, this is probably the easiest script you'll ever do in scripting. Other, probably the other most easiest is just like the max zoom distance or just making something happen inside properties by doing a script or just like changing the default walk speed that's so those are one line so this is the three line code technically two lines and let's get started so we have a script dot parent dot mouse button dot clip dot one click what did I say I don't know script dot parent so script right here and make sure this is a local script as well they're both gonna be local scripts so we have a local script here and the parent of this is the um, test frame, I think. So, see, I'm, I don't, I'm still, I still don't know everything about scripting. I'm still kind of confused on most parts, but I'm pretty good at it. If you see from my first games to where I've come now, it's impressive. So we're gonna do script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function. And notice here we don't need to make any variables because basically everything is here already, built in the Roblox. So the first line is functioning it. And then right here we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot visible equals false. Now right here our this parent I believe is getting into the properties and it is finding the visible. As you can see a visible is right here. And if we put that off that's basically false and that's what happens when you click on it. And this is it. This is all you need for the script. If you want to delete this line you can and as you can see an end should be added if it's not just type it yourself so make sure you get this down here and then we'll see it works fine and now let's make an X button actually look cool now in, now in the video we uh, made it very like a weird frame like you guys are like How, what How? I don't even understand because my frame was very weird and hard to look um, but you can change the X like this or you can make it the red background and a weird question I'm like hey you guys should know how but then I realize not everyone is an expert scripter and some people are completely starting out I remember really like wishing to have our um, open button scripts that are really good cuz in uh, like every video you have that like quint stuff that positioning which makes it like kinda swoop from the right side or the left side and just open but you need to figure a position for that and that's kind of um, hard for beginner scripters so luckily someone uh, gave me the script for this and basically gave me 40,000 views and money so thank you but here we go and so what we do is background transparency we can change that to one which m removes that border and yeah, and okay, next thing. You guys want to know how to add text. So you just go to the test frame and you add text. This is one of the most basic things you'll ever do. You can size it like this, or you can go to properties and use the size. And then go to prop. Now, if you don't know how I'm getting this, just go to view on top, explore properties right there. And then here, you type, um, let's see here, anything you'd like. This is a. Uh, This is a test frame like that. Um, okay, I thought I was not recording. It just came to my mind, like, what if I'm not recording? That would have been a lot of wasted time. Hard explaining. So this is a test frame, and you can add text, you can size it, and then you can duplicate it, or just add another text later, text label. To duplicate this, just right click and duplicate, or just do control D on your keyboard at the same time. There we go. So now, t in order to make this, like you might play it with it on, not knowing how to get it off. So this has been asked like two times by some beginner scripters. And now you might be like, oh, I hate how polar it's not respond to the people. Well, now we've made it better. So um, join our Discord server, and you will see our scripting issues section, and you can show all your scripting issues, and eventually someone will help you out now once our server becomes more popular and more people more and more people are asking um, we'll, ha we'll have to change it and so you just have to DM one of us and hopefully that will help because right now we're a small little discord server and see this is the person who needed the help and I type this bar here to kinda signify that we're done with our conversation and a new one can start 
So yeah, join that if you have any help with other scripting tutorials on my channel. I will not help if, well, we might help, but we probably won't if it's a different tutorial, not from me. So what you gotta do is you gotta go to the properties and make the frame not visible, like that. And that was the test frame, not visible. Now you'll see here, if we um, play the game, everything will work. And if this somehow didn't work, you don't understand, join our Discord server, go to hashtag scripting issues, and then you can explain and we'll help you. And as you can see, the reset stats button will work, and I'll just quickly demonstrate that. As you can see, we have 450,000 of each stats on the top right here. Then what you do is click reset stats, and they'll all go to zero. So works fine. Again, that will be in the playlist at the end of the video, or it might just be the featured video at the end of the video. So right here we have our frame, and what is going to happen here is it opens up the frame. And now you will see with our else statement we made inside the open script, we click it again and it will close. Now you don't even need the X button if you don't want, you can just do this, but the X button might help someone new to Roblox, like huh, how do I close this? There's an X. So that it shows everything, our text label and everything. So here our X closes it once we click on it. Perfect! Everything works fine. And if you're wondering, the text label that we made on the frame will go inside the test frame. And yeah, and that right there basically sums it up. So I hope you managed to click on this video. This will help you guaranteed. And if it does not, again, join the Discord server. If this helped, be sure to subscribe. We have gotten so much subscribers from our scripting tutorial videos. People are like, oh my, oh my gosh, you just changed my game forever. Thank you so much. And yeah, with all my scripting tutorial tutorials, guys, you can make a simulator game, basically. With the open button, the cell, the collecting system, the a basic simulator, a collecting simulator, basically. You just collect things and you sell them. That's my game. Without pets, because I'm not going to do that. And, um... Because my pets that I'm adding is from Alvin Blocks, not myself, because I have no clue how to do pets. But unfortunately, we do not have a data store video out yet, and maybe I'll do that in the future. We also have a Game Pass store, so if people buy Robux to go to a realm. And we also might use a premium realm coming soon. Like, you need to have Roblox premium to get inside the realm. Comment down below if you want that. Again, this is an unlisted video. The only way you could have gotten to this was by clicking the link on that video. So we'll see how much people clicked on this and hope that it helped you out. And see you guys next time. Like and subscribe. And I guess that's how it has to go. Um, yeah, this is beginning scripting, guys. Everyone had to go through it. The developers of Adopt Me once started here, wondering how to put buttons. And, like, the creators of every game had to start somewhere, so... You never know, the person watching this, you could be the next big thing on Roblox. And you'll be thanking me for this text button. So see you guys next time. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.